Hey guys, Dave here from Escape Creative again, and uh, now I want to show you how you can use Elementor, uh, specifically Elementor Pro. So you do need the Pro version. This will not work with uh, the free version of Elementor. But if you're using Elementor Pro, one of the great features it has is that for every single section and template or global widget that you create, you have a short code that you can use. And you can insert this short code into a text widget or a custom HTML widget. You can also actually use um, a widget that Elementor gives you to insert a new section or a, a, something you've designed in, designed in Elementor and put it anywhere you want into any widget area. So if you're using the widget areas for Learn Dash plugin, then the six different widget areas that we give you, you can insert Elementor templates in any one of them. So I want to show you how to do that. So here I am on the Elementor templates and saved templates page. Now I don't have um, any sections created yet. So what I'm going to do is add a new section. And I will go ahead and just give this a test name. You can name this whatever you'd like. And I will create a template. Now for the sake of this demo, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one of these existing blocks that they give me here. Uh, you can go ahead and create your own completely custom template from scratch or use an existing one and modify it. It's totally up to you. I'm just gonna, for this demo, just uh, insert one of these pre-existing blocks. And here you will see it on our page here. I'm not gonna do any custom design, but you could obviously get as creative as you want with it. I will go ahead and click publish down here in the bottom corner. And great, it is now published. So now I've jumped over here to the WordPress customizer and I'm gonna show you how to insert that Elementor template into one of your new widget areas for LearnDash using the widget areas for LearnDash plugin. So in the customizer, we wanna click on widgets here in the sidebar. I wanna also point out that I did already go to one of my course pages. So it'll be helpful to view that course page. So you'll wanna to navigate to that here on the right-hand preview pane. That way you can actually see that the widget is added to the widget area uh, in real time and preview it before you publish it. So you navigate to a course page here on the right. Then we'll come over here to the left where it says widgets. Now, since this is a course page and I wanna put this Elementor template that I just created at the very top of the course content, so I find the widget area that I want, which is gonna be LD Course Content Start. That's gonna appear right here at the very top. So I open this up, then I'll click on this Add a Widget button, and I can search for Elementor Library. So this is something, again, that's with Elementor Pro. It will pull up a list of all of the different templates that we have saved, and we can click this dropdown and choose whichever one we want to insert into this widget area. So we only have the one, and I just named it Test. So when I select that, you'll notice over here on the right-hand side, it'll reload my preview. And in this widget area, it is now displaying my Elementor template. So you can do this. You can actually add multiple templates if you want. You can always add another widget, put another Elementor template in there, and have multiple ones in the same spot. Uh, you can also use the global widget, which means that you can edit it in one place at one time, and those changes will apply to every single instance um, wherever you've inserted it. So you can get really creative with Elementor here and, um, and do this uh, for any of the six different widget areas that you want. This example just shows you the top of the course content, but it works for all of the focus mode widget areas um, as well. So any widget area that you want. Just make sure that when you're done here, if you're in the customizer, that you click this publish button at the top. That will make your changes live. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and can use it in some really creative ways. Thanks for watching.